Welcome back to Flesh Port. We're continuing. We're left off in this weird, bizarre, strange game. Or strange indie horror RPG game. I barely play these. It was pretty good, and we're just going to get right back into it. Ah, that's what I may be meant to do. Hello? Little dear, are you in your room? He'll come for us soon if we don't stop him. If we don't stop him, we can just stay hidden. If we don't stop him. What does that mean? Like, stay hidden? I found out what I'm meant to do. I've saved just before this situation, just in case he does attack, but... Meant to run? He needs to be trapped in there. Uh. <clears throat> Is that you, lovely? Are you in the, my house again? It's rather rude of you to trap me in here. I do hope you haven't devoured the child in the beautiful orange coat. She isn't suitable for consumption. I suppose you may not care. If you have eaten her, please give me that nice coat. Okay, yeah, that sounds kind of weird, man. Let's find out what's in his study. We see... An odd lump protrudes from the Teddy's stomach. There's something inside. A cute little pink key. Many novels of fantasy align the shelf. High upon the shelf is a cheerful looking card and a framed picture of a blonde girl. The only visible words on the card are Grandpa and Present. A scribbled writing and personal diary they read, There's so much I wish I could tell you, though I cannot, for my words would fall upon an empty husk. Perhaps I harbor a deep hatred, one that won't be unraveled by time or rational thought. We may be no different in that. Would you have ill will for me if you knew the truth? Ah, uh, Peoria, what a frightening maiden you are. Perhaps it is time that you see me for who I am. If our demise is together, what end could be more fitting? That's all that's written. Many tales of fantasy align the shelf. The name Nivire is written on the bottom of the spines of the books. It's a safe with three-digit code. No idea. It's probably nothing too... It's grayed out. There's something splattered and smeared on the window frame. The curtain is stuck. Hmm. Lots of scientific books. Many of them are about biology. They seem very uniform, like they're part of a collection. Mm-hmm. Infant pet. The number of innocent deaths continues to fluctuate with the rise and fall of hope and the recovery of the world. Many mothers have committed incesticide since the attack on nasty labor labor something and the following decline of humanity since then. Many of these somethings are also suffering from postpartum depression which ends in the result of them disposing their newborns in order to spare them from living this life. In our very own state, in the town of blank blank, some others take their babies to the edge of a... something park? And then throw them into what is now notoriously known as the infant pit. Other mothers who suffer deeply psychologically will something of their infants in more... something ways. With all these newborn deaths, we have to ask ourselves, how long will humanity exist? The date on this article is very old, but oddly enough, it is the most recent one here. Okay, let's check to see if it actually has a, you know, date. Um... So wait, notes? How do I get to notes? Uh... Notes, notes. Hmm. Huh. 
Ah, here. Food. The muffin tasted like dirt. Fantastic. Shrine now. And... This doesn't say the date, though. Uh, well, that doesn't help me, then. On the ivory papers is the end of a story written in the finest penmanship. Book together, bound together with the unusual type of thread. It's titled The Saints of Midnight. The name, Nevire, is written on the bottom of the cover. It's open to a random page midway through the book. Read the passage. The voice cried, Give them to me. As she passed through the darkened corridor, she stopped. She felt herself lured to the call. She wanted to help the voice and felt sympathetic towards it. Maybe if she showed it a sufficient act of kindness, it would finally cease to haunt her. Give them to me, the dry whisper clawed at her ears. Just give them to me. She carefully pulled the four newborn mice out of her pocket. They slightly twitched as they woke up. Within her cupped hands, she held them to the darkness. Yes, yes, my favorite. It was quite pleased. It took her a moment before she realized the mice were gone from her hands. Her palms were wet. She held her hands in front of her eyes as if she could see them through the darkness. Her mouth gaped open. It dawned on her that she had sent them to their death. The call was too alluring, her mind still young and sheepish. She didn't want to turn a blind eye to the voice's request. Had she only known that self-control is the line between indulgence and neglect? Hmm. Scribbled writings a diary. I received some of my writing ideas through various dreams. Some of these dreams feel so real, but they are not based on reality, are they? Nothing else is of interest. Hmm. So is that that's it, I guess. Hmm. No, well, I can I guess try to leave. Guess we don't need to hide. We do have a key, so I guess we can try it on here. I have used the key. Now the door is unlocked. Oh, perfect time for a save, hell yeah. A giant pug? It's a glass bottle with something pink inside. Hitting it against the table does nothing. I picked up wish paper. M Mia Mia? Why? Why would you play with Mia's dolls? You have your own dolls. Maybe I... Press shift... Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to run. Oh, save too. Like saving here would be would be too obvious, eh? What if I have it get crushed alive by the drawer? Hmm? Wow, well, well, it's dumb. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have broken. I should have inspected things. You know, um, I want I want to inspect things before smash. Well, that's really squeaky, yeah. A caking of dust collects around the doll's eye sockets. I blindfolded. Here rests Pugly. He was loved. There's a small, neat stitch mark circling the dog's limbs. His eyes are black and glassy. One's a little bigger than the other. Is this a toy? A small plotted tree with pink strips of paper tied onto it. The paper have wishes from a small child written on them. One branch is empty. See, it's like the the whole thing though is um this shrine note. It says I only wish to see that little blonde doll. I only wish, and the wish is highlighted. So it's either they're saying they want me to put the wish here, or it's the person in the window wants me to grab the doll and bring her to the chair alongside with the wish. She looks like a long... Yeah. Can I pick her up? Her face is unmoving, eyes slightly closed, with rosy lips pursed e eternally. 
Well, I guess we don't have much of a choice. Well, if that's the truth, then, uh... Yeah, let's just get out of here. Will she still go upstairs? Okay. Now I have to figure out, I guess, where to go now. For a demo, is taking forever. You. Hmm, that's not helpful still. Wish paper, though. What do you write on the wish paper? Oh. A choice. No, I don't... Uh, I... I have wish paper that says wish. Can I change it? Oh, thank God. Hmm. What if I typed in burn, then? I'm gonna presume that might be what I need to do. Hmm. We'll think about it. Okay, let's see if the doll went in here or not. He... he did. What? It didn't even chase? I thought it... Hmm. No juice. Just go in the study, please. Should be in the study instead, then. Yes. Okay. Wish paper. Burn. Hopefully, this is the correct one. Hmm. I need a hint, I guess. Burn is not the right word, I guess. Alright, let's see if this works. Eh? Oh! Okay, doll did fucking work. This whole wish and doll... Oh, the person in the book said they wanted to see... Or, they wanted to wish for a doll, but I just thought the doll was the living one. Apparently not. Pink floorboard with a heart on it. There may be something behind it. Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Our floor full of doll, doll town? Welcome to our happy village. Oh, so one day I'll be an artist. I will overcome my fears and become and be successful. Isn't that the girl in the photo? I love taking care of everyone. Honestly, what would they do without me? But With the little X. Well, not the same, actually. She has, like, darker hair. Play with me. Fun, fun, fun. This is what we like to do when no one is playing with us. We'll avoid that pit. Until the end. I love games. What's your favorite game? Is it a board game? Eh, maybe a little bit of Monopoly. Underneath the torn wallpaper, wooden paneling can be seen. There's something glimmering between the edge of where the wallpaper meets the wood paneling. Skeleton key, nice. I made a delicious tart flambe the other day. They loved it so much. Can I interest you in a fritter? Only one tooth. I'm good. Let's save it one more time. Are you really leaving me here? You're only one who hasn't abandoned me. I need someone to play with me and to feed me. I can't do anything by myself. Will you take care of me? Make me feel... Sure. Yes, yes, oh yes. Come to me so we can play. Okay, fine. I'll be nice so you don't, you know, start being evil. And everyone else, this house looks beautiful, but it isn't. Maybe I can get food? Like, do you, do you want food and you want arms? 
Let's play, how about a riddle game? Are you ready? I am always empty, never full, no matter what size I may be. Always empty, never full. I devour many things. Fluffy rabbits, fingers, and... Fingers and rings! Fin fluffy rabbits, fingers in ri Fingers in rings. I'm in your heart. I'm in your head. I'm your cradle when you are dead. What am I? Oh. Heart? No, it's four letters only. Doll? Let me think about it a little bit. I'm gonna presume doll, but I wouldn't think it'd be so easy as just doll for the tree and doll for this. Could I re-listen to the riddle, honestly? Eats fingers with rings in them. I can't even remember the full riddle anymore. But if it's something that he kills rabbits... One thing I imagine is fingers with rings on them. Like a ring finger. Call a ring a hole. Is it a hole? Hole's gonna be my only guess. If not that, I'm thinking just dull. But it can't be that simple. <sighs> ring finger hole. I mean, holes in rabbits. Fluffy rabbits. Like if it gets shot? I don't know. Oh. Okay. That's a first. That's the. Like, of all my videos, this is gonna be the first and only time I ever fucking just, like, my first guess is actually right. Every time, usually, I'm guessing and guessing and guessing and I get it wrong, wrong, wrong. Fuck me. It's fucking late, though. I, I just wanna get to the end of this demo. No more riddles, please. Do you need food next? Okay, he doesn't wanna play anymore. That's good. I don't know if I want to spend anything on... Oh, wait, what? Oh, to bring the friends. You brought me my friend. Oh, goody. Delicious, bring me another one. I want my friends. Bring them here. Oh. Well, sure. I... One act of indulgence may seem meager now, but has encouraged you to do it again someday. I don't think that... The one's running! Come back down here. I don't think I should trust this. I always liked you the best. Thank you, I feel so loved. With what? Little light reached into the depths of the hole. Here's a hole. A pale face illuminated. She is lost in a dream. I don't like the other Nipsey. You've given me everything I've needed, now I'm going to nap. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, I guess. I mean, I rather would have gotten one of the flambés or whatever from that one, but, you know, have a good nap, I, I guess. I got a skeleton key, so I'm gonna save. Jesus Christ. Let's see if I can use it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, bitch. Go in the study. Excellent. <gasps> There's a door here. No! There's a door there? Hmm. Uh, fuck off. Stop chasing me, bitch! I must seriously, I never saw that. There's an actual art room over here. I can barely tell, but there's something here. The door is currently locked above it. Art room. But apparently it's not for that. Um, where else then? Um, I guess just the room where the woman was at. Okay. Getting the key in while jumping is tough. Another try or two might work. Or we just get a stool. The doll marches ever closer. Oh.
fucking serious? Do I need to bring the chair with me? Try two or three times. <sighs> Fine. That's fucking weird, though. I hate this doll right now. It comes right behind you and says, try it again. But hitting the action key is what did it. But the other two times I'm meant to go in the inventory to do it? Not sure. Let's see if I can push this chair. The chair would make it just instantly easier. If I can push it. No. Okay. Chair has been tried. Chair does not work. I don't know what the chair is for. We might need it for later, but... For now... Let's do the inventory method, then. Because spamming Z didn't do anything. Okay. Come on. Uh. Futile? I said try a few more times and it might work, and then it just said it was futile. Alright, I'm gonna try one thing, since they like to emphasize the red a lot. As you'd see... No, no, not, not, no, not that. Uh, small but great for smashing weak or delicate things. It's delicate porcelain face. Come on closer, bitch. Bam! The head of the hammer breaks right off. The hammer finally broke. Fuck you, bitch. The doll is so big, almost the size of a child. Okay, fuck you, bitch. I've used the skeleton key. Chains fall. Phew! Uh, wait, you're in here? Rabbit thing? Bloodstains saturate the discolored apron. This keeps track of the temperature. The bottom shelf does collapse, and there's boxes on the ground. There's Oriental. Writing on the packages, the only readable word is pork sung. I wouldn't look in there if I were you. There are those my parents. That's too awful. Like, look in this. A giant metal drum, foul liquid leaks from it. No. Smell the smell of butterscotch emits from the blanket. Butterscotch on the floor. Uh, right. Ah, uh, well. Gotta assume this is the end of the demo. Oddman. I didn't expect you to be so clever for your age. You definitely didn't get that from your parents. Uh, but were they not delicious? I haven't had a dinner like that since the last visitors. Yes, little dear, we ate them tonight. How does it feel to have partake... to have partaken in luxury of surviving? How do they taste? You ought not to cry about this. You should think about how lucky you are. Run if you'd like. Just lets me run. Alright. Don't have much, I guess, to go. No, he's. He's already up there? What supernatural motherfucking powers do you got? How the fuck did you get here first? You shouldn't leave, dear. It's not as safe out there as it is in here. I swear the dinner looked like a turkey. How the fuck did you make my parents' bodies look like a, like a chicken dinner? You may not be edible, but believe me, some folks don't care about that. But here, here you'll be safe. I have no desire to devour you. But I have to wonder, how did you find and get through the flesh port? The realtors weren't harvesting today, so it wasn't their doing, was it? They never sent anyone through that house anyways. Your family must have been become... Incredibly lost to have ended up through the portal on my property. An unexpected delivery. So are, are they my uncle? You're not in a world you are familiar with anymore. Are you that dead set on leaving? 
Before you woke up and hid in my granddaughter's closet, I had ran a few tests on your blood. It's essential for quality control. It yielded some very interesting results, results that didn't match the rest of your family. Little dear, no matter where you go, you'll die. There's something wrong with you, and it's killing you. If you weren't ill, then you would have been devoured the moment you arrived. The very thing taking your life away is also keeping you alive right now. Funny, isn't it? Hmm. Well, little dear, you are in luck. There's a special antidote for what ails you. The cure. Upon it entering your system, there's two ways your body will react to it. You'll die, or perhaps just to lose a bit of your hair and gain a few wrinkles. There isn't such a vaccine in your world, so you might as well try your chances and take it. We don't produce this cure regularly. Not many of us took very well to it, you s to say the least. If you want to find what's left of the cure, you should look out in the laboratory across our town. I don't advise you to leave. I'd like you to stay. Just know that you're on your own if you do. I left you a little going away present. You may find it quite useful and delicious. I picked up Lang Mignon. It, it just looks like a tongue, man. It's not going to be delicious, and I'm definitely not going to eat it. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, just saving. Yeah. <laughs> Since I saved, I'm going to wonder how. what happens if you die by carpet? Death by carpet. That's died to uh, falling on your face, apparently on a rug. If the cure still exists, it'll be in the laboratory across town. You may want a ride there. Good luck. Oh damn! The air is heavy and cold. Sprinkles of rain begin to fall upon the browning grass. I don't even know about. The safe in the dude's study room, the... Are there just enemies randomly roaming around, or is... What this? Vines weave and twist around the grave, covering the name that was written on it. I cut the vines away with a knife. The name Mia is etched into the stone structure. It also says, Eternally lost, but never forgotten. Hmm. Vines grow and grip the pointed metal fence. They look strong enough to climb. Huh. What's making that noise? Tooth. So, is this like how we're meant to go? Or is it this way? And how long is this demo? Might have to make this a, might have to make this like a two-part, like a two-part game. The air around the shed door tingles with energy. Oh. Uh. Portal. And family. Oh, family. This time. What just happened to us? You have to know what's going on, don't you? We were going to visit my husband's brother. We thought we were at his house. The door, the door was unlocked. We opened it and walked inside. How is it possible we're here? Why did we walk out of a shed? This doesn't make any sense. And doing that felt funny. My body has those prickles. That's very strange, isn't it? Please come inside. I think I might be able to help you all figure this out. I even have a pot, pot of coffee ready and juice for the children. That's how I guess everything started. You coming, Slowpoke, or are you scared? Hmm, so what if I go this way? Nothing happens when the portal's touch except for a slight numb feeling. Does anyone even wonder where I've gone? Hmm. It's locked up. Hmm. I don't even have a lighter to be able to see shit. Mm. 
Well, I'm gonna assume there's nowhere to the right, but we still don't know the combination to this study safe, which kind of is... It's gonna bug me, honestly. There's also something... Let me turn on the brightness of my monitor. I can't see shit. Like, what would the combination be? Like, Mia converted into numbers? I wouldn't think so. Hmm. More teeth. What this? There's a breeze ahead. Oh, lighter! Yep. Why, hello there. I've been looking forward to seeing you in person. You look a little crazy and your eyes kind of jiggle, man. I have something I want to give you. I don't want your machete. Oh. It ends here, does it? Well, what's the comp... I hope you look forward to the full game. Is there a way to get into the safe in the demo? Hmm. I'd want to get the fucking lighter and then go and check out the shadow areas. But I guess we'll just have to leave it here. I'll probably make this a two-part series because it's long. I've been playing for an hour and a half. Jesus Christ. It says the average session is about half an hour. Is that for people that speedrun the game, or people that just aren't thorough? The only thing I'm really questioning about the Gamester page is it says Terms of Use. One, two, three, four, and uh... One, two, three, four, I guess five, two, sounds good. Like, it's like one to six. One is you may not resell the game, you may not uh, redistribute assets, uh, Third-party assets belong to the respective owners, and if you make a Let's Play of the game, please hit a link to the page uh, in the description, which I always do anyways. Five, the game cannot be refunded. Fine, what, whatever. Um, and that Zentient, the developer, is not liable for any damages as a result of downloading or playing this game. It's a very questionable thing to say, like, it's an RPG Maker game. Are, are you gonna load it up with a virus? How would your game possibly damage people's systems? Why would you need to write that in a terms of use? How does that happen? How would it happen? Like, unless there's, like, spyware on it and it's just, like, or a backdoor fucking virus, which... I, I scanned just in case and there was nothing. But it's just kind of questionable. Why would you be like, yeah, we're not liable if our game somehow damages... anything? Why would you write that? Is this maybe just a spin on it being a horror game? Like, maybe I'm gonna punch my monitor in fright, like, oh, that's scary! Bam! Punch your monitor, then blame the developer. Like, some people would play the Wii, and then they'd be playing Wii Sports, and they'd go bowling, and then suddenly their Wii remote just, you know, breaks their TV. Nintendo's not liable. But, that's a different story. Either way, though, uh, interesting, good game, good quality, good, uh, creativity behind it. I like the fact that I can see a lot of custom, or presumably custom assets, because I hate RPG Maker games that just are completely, you know, everything is just reeking of royalty-free assets and shit that you just see in every single RPG Maker game. I like custom-made things, or things people make from scratch, or unique-looking characters, etc, 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 in these games. So this passes it off in flying colors. Just like, you know, Fear and Hunger, is ev everything's custom, everything's drawn, everything's unique and custom. That's why I love Fear and Hunger. And this game, similarly, a lot of custom shit, I like it. So, I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates to my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Rawr.